Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlink here, we are off for more of South Park Fractured But Whole Bring the Crunch DLC. In the last episode, we pretty much started this DLC after covering the artifacts from the previous DLC, which was Casa Bonita. We started at the bus stop, went to the camp centre, did some Scooby Dooing, and then we had a massive battle where we learned how to use Crunch because, um, or Mintberry Crunch because he has these type abilities that negate each other, that all, and all of his attacks pretty much give those abilities. His ultimate attack is so OP that it actually freezes the the bar from refilling for a turn, and then all of a sudden, Spontaneous Boote spontaneously showed up, and, well, gave us a good Boote kicking. Especially me. <laughs> <laughs> and we used a couple of those tombs, so I'm gonna have to go and craft a couple of those to regain what I lost. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a couple more, because why not? But, yes, um, that's about it at this point. We've got a couple of costumes, since we're paused right now, because I can't really talk while things are going on, because I believe we've got, like, a time limit, because it feels like it, even though we were able to save, so... I'm not entirely too sure how to handle that, but it is blood pumping, I'll tell you that. Because we do not want to get squished yet again, so... That's a thing. Inventory, what's new here? We picked up a couple of first aid kits in this very room. In fact, we grabbed a couple of mission items from here as well. But yeah, here was a team member with 40% health or lower. Then use another item. So I might be able to actually revive someone. And so basically, with a first aid kit, you can stack healing. Interesting on how that would work. Yeah, so it, it, it was a trick, so you got an axe. Required item. Yeah, okay, so... We got some acquired items here. That was the only one I grabbed because of things. That was the wrong buttons again. I need to pinch fart. Pause fart. Don't know what you want to call it. I gotta run over here because there's something in here. That's new. What's that? I can't pause right now. My pad don't work. Right, there we are. So what's that? Sorry for the long episode last episode, by the way, but it just kind of happened. Revives and heals targeted team member, granting attack up, lifesteal, and possessed? Possessed? What's that? We're going to use that at some point. Okay, what do I need to do here? Um, I need to... Right, I think I need to stand up here, and then I... Oh my god, stop tapping those buttons. That's not... It's the triggers, not the bumpers. Time fart rewind here. Butthole, this is supposed to be a safe thing. Up, Bash that one off. down. No, that's not right. That's not right. Um, rewind again. I'm not entirely too sure what I'm doing here. So if I bash that one down, there we go. Right, we've got the sledgehammer. We need the hedge clippers as well. Oh, so I always progress every time that we've actually gone a little bit further. So now I need to... No, I don't need to do that. I can just whack that down. Maybe that's the key. Final girl. Improvised weapons. That's your fucking plan? I didn't hear a word of that. I'm not paying attention. Right, so I need a pinch fart. Bring this back over to the opposite side. Oh. Oh, grab it, you muppet! What was that all about? Try that again. I always, have this, I always seem to have these weird things when trying to grab stuff that is movable. Happened in Casa Bonita and it's happening here. Right, we need to put this here. And I wanted to actually climb because I can't get across because of the electrical wires. So I need to pinch fart yet again. Just keep pausing time, ruining the space time continuum, a new one. Hedge clippers, mission item. Right, so I need. I see what I need to do here. What we I need to do is. Oh, bloody hell. Low, right, whack that, blow it up, cup of spell. Right, there we are. That's there. How do I get over there? Over here. Bash that, come up here. Grab the sword. And we're good. Whoa, okay. Jesus. That should do it, butthole. Hurry, get over here. All right, you've collected your weapons. Now, you must channel the survival power of the final girl in every horror movie ever. What? Uh, what? You're giving me a new class somehow. You're, you're like makeshafting a new class. What the heck? Final girl. Oh my god. Butthole found the survival power of the final girl in every horror movie ever. Right here in this cabin. What are the chances? Now we can fight our way out. Lead the way, final girl. I don't think this is a good idea, fellas. Maybe we should just stay here. Jesus. Sack the fuck up, butters. <laughs> 
Uh. Get out there and kick some monster. Kick some monster. Kick some monster. You can do it. Kick some monster. Kick some. Kick some monster. Kick some monster. I don't think this is gonna end. Kick some monster. Kick some monster. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> Alright, uh, final girl of every horror movie. The heck? I'm slightly on the confused side. Survivor suit. Why a girl, though? I mean, not to be rude, but, I mean, there's obviously, like, some sort of trope that I'm not aware of. I don't watch a lot of horror movies, so forgive my ignorance. Unless it's just a South Park thing, but there you go. Um, what are my powers? I need to know what I've got now. <laughs> Final Vengeance, invoking the fury of horror movie heroines, the final girl marks foes with low health and slays them one by one. So that's using all weapons at once. And then obviously we're just using all three weapons that we just picked up in this building. Except for the- oh no, because we're putting everything with the axe, like a freaking power ranger with the final attack. Alright, so Fatal Trim, core power and the power of garden shears to damage, knock back, and inflict beating on the enemy. I don't think- Shears are supposed to give not back unless we stab first. Saw blade, so oh whoa. Lay down the saw blade trap that persists for three rounds, damaging and inflicting hemorrhage on all foes who pass the area. So is hemorrhage like a more powerful version of bleeding? I mean that does like no damage at all, apparently, but hmm. Hammer bomb. Target a foe with a hammer bomb. Move the new kid to determine the enemy's knockback direction. And detonate for damage and bleeding. So all these attacks do bleeding except for Final Vengeance. Oh my god, look at the damage on that. I just noticed the damage on the Final Vengeance. That's basically a win button. That is a win button. We're bote. We're bote. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, oh yeah, like Tadakaka. I didn't realise that the map actually... The map icon was changed as well. Oh, Kick fair enough. Kick all right. Let's just, just go, do I guess. New kid. I don't want to be in here anymore. We'll solve this mystery, new kid, or my name isn't Mintberry Crunch. Kick some master boop boop. <laughs> He's still got one in. Hello! Back, Prepare for the wrath of the final girl! Get up, boot, hey! Hell no. Nah. I ain't fighting no final girl with that lucky surviving ass. That's my kryptonite, baby. I'm out of here. Oh, wow. He actually scared her off. That's a bit of a shame, though. I'm going to actually knock her out with Final Vengeance. Oh, well. Um, that's disappointing. Okay, butthole. Why don't you see how your final girl powers work on these monsters? We're probably just going to completely destroy them. <laughs> yeah, try not to die, new kid. Because we're next if you do. Put something together from those tools you gathered. So I can put one... So a sword trap lasts for three rounds. Hemorrhage. No immediate damage. But it's in a line and it can go quite far. This ain't really superpower, this is just basic stuff. Soul bleeds to trap enemies who pass through it and all start their turn on it. That's a nasty looking cut, Mr. Monster. Oh my god, hemorrhaging! That was a times two for Oh my god! So yeah, it's just like a very powerful. So it's just a very powerful um bleeding effectively. It's like double bleeding. Okay. Move to the highlight square. Select hammer bomb. I can actually reach a square ahead. Right, let's see what happens here. Oh wow! The final girl can move again after selecting a target. Wait, what? Select detonate. What? So I was standing here. I put the hammer down on the square in front of me. And then I can detonate with circle. And then you choose your victim's knockback direction. Cool. Knock them into your trap. Oh, okay. So if I do that, what does that do? I'm gonna turn you into Gula. So the way that works is that I choose where I go to use it, and then that determines where I can stand after choosing it to use it in any direction. Hemorrhaging times four, good lord. And we don't even get a chance to use our square attack. I, I feel like we're skipping cut, uh, skipping parts of the tutorial accidentally. 
yeah, that, 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 yeah, that's a, that's a friggin', that's a friggin' screen nuke. Well, it's not, it doesn't go that far, but it pretty much nukes everyone. It can be used to finish off fights, I think it just said. Let's have a look. Oh my good lord. You can move freely and kill low health enemies. It doesn't need to be low health, you just one shot them. Whoa. I'm guessing it doesn't work on bosses. Get out of here, kid. Oh, can I just continue here. using the ultimate right now? Hmm. Something's a little off with these monsters. Let's get them. You guys are crazy. Alright, we're just gonna continue like normal now, aren't we? <laughs> After all that, I don't need you all. <laughs> I don't need any of you. Oh my lord. Okay. This okay. is this is ridiculous. You know what? We'll take now. it. Uh, I'm gonna grind you into a fine meal. Why have a meal when you can have this? This can't. Yeah. Well, how about a minted meal, mate? Minted lamb shank. How about that? Should be down for that. Right. Um. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry to say, everyone's outclassed. We just had Mintberry Crunch be the OP person, and now I'm the OP person. <laughs> I am the literal OP. <laughs> Sorry, Buzz, you're no longer MVP. <laughs> to be honest, you weren't exactly 100% OP in this game. <laughs> but holy crap, this is ridiculous. Can I just, can I just stab you? Oh, I just lobby. I just freaking lob it like a javelin. Fair enough. <laughs> Let's just stand here and do this. Go forth and look, friend. There he goes. Good yep. thing I wore my kid eating pants. I'm gonna scare you dead. Yeah. Uh oh, a little pee came out again, you guys. I well, don't blame you. You just got punched in the dick and you're bleeding. This is our camp now, damn it. Monster camp. Huh. How about no? Let's get some double hitting punching on you. Yeah, you know what? I can actually knock you out. Right, I'm gonna come over here and give you a couple of punches. And that killed him! Wow, just barely enough. Look, I'm awesome sorry, but no monsters allowed in this camp. Alright, let's finish this fast. This is still pretty epic though. I like this. Yeah, but how do you run in the water? I mean I guess that is possible, but. Right on the equator, that must mess something. Up. Now maybe we can finally get some answers. Yeah, but if you did that in order to get to the bloody cabin, we wouldn't have had to make a mad dash away from mad from spontaneous bootay. Janko Jacko hair, Jacko suit, mintberry crunch character sheet. There we are. Awesome. Now I really want to get back to my suit. <laughs> Where did you hide the missing counselor? <laughs> With the he's not a real monster, it's just a mask. You didn't realize First the counselors that. go missing. Now people wearing masks are trying to scare us away from camp. What the heck is going on? Hey, this is like that one episode of Scooby Doo. Butthole, your fighting style reminds me of the girl that doesn't die at the end of horror movies. Good work. But I'm afraid this is only the beginning. Dr. Timothy, did you find anything? This is more serious than we thought, Jimmy. Meet me in the mess hall. There's something you all need to see. What episode was that? Congratulations, Butthole. You earned the Super Sleuth Summer Camp Merit Badge. Oh, that's what the slots are for on the map. Okay, so I guess I need to get all six. You can yeah. get merit badges for doing all sorts of helpful things around camp. It's fun and productive at the same time. Pretty cool, right? Oh. Great honor. Now go out there and collect them all. Boy. <laughs> that was a lot of stuff. Hang on. I see stuff I can grab. And I can't grab it. Your new final girl powers are affected by your DNA strand. Yeah, we are aware of this. In fact, we were able to check that out before we even went into battle. So I don't know why you're telling me this now. But... I guess it's because I can now actually swap stuff out. Why can I not go behind here? There's a gap. Oh, I have to go through the thing. Tardy cap. No, I can't get through that. Okay, I guess I'm not allowed to get that one over there then. Interesting. No point going back in there. Yeah, 
what else can I grab? So I can't grab that one bag behind there. I can't do anything with that dude. Hang on a second, I see a sneaker. To take a selfie with a ghost, approach it and press R1. What? Mission item again. Collect drink catcher ingredients. Paper plate, three crow feathers. What is going on? Too many things are happening right now. Uh, take pictures with a ghost. I mean, I saw the ghost, but now it's gone. Is it here? Oh! I found him! What? Don't like the look of them crows, no sir. Best to scare them away before the, all their friends arrive. Okay, so the ghosts are just a big bunch of crows. What is this? Professor Screw Eyes from Dinosaurs We're Back. <laughs> Around supper time, folks, there's some of those old little voices in the campfire whispering, seconds on the tots. Could be something. Well, that's another ghost then. More blood, by the way. A lot God, more blood. I know, oh, I just said that. Holy crap, that's a lot of blood. Oh, well. That's a thing. Restore accessibility to the camp. Clear the mess hall ramp. Move the wheelchair outside the shower building. Hang on a moment, eh? there was a ghost here and I wasn't paying attention. Nice work, but hole. I see you got the eyes on that but assistance badge. Keep it up. Oh, there we are. Found it. Oh, freaking hell! <laughs> this is more of a Halloween thing than the previous chapter. Some folks say there's a creepy doll like this one in the mess hall, one of those dolls that kills people, you know the type. Chucky, basically. Selfie with the ghost of the camp center. Find the mystery item in the mess hall, hit it at Instagram. I'm doing side quests and I'm not even realising. Can I actually go in here now? Oh wait, I, need, I still need to move this at some point. Let's uh, let's uh, move that. Oh, I guess I can't move it any further than there. Is that it? Oh, there we are. I cleared that. Can I get in here now? I can't get in there still. Uh, what was the last thing on that list? Thanks for making the camp safer and more accessible, but hell. What was the other thing that needed to be accessible around here? Let's go and actually check some of those missions out. Show mission list. Ah, so these are basically all the badges we can earn. Store accessibility to camp. Search for more areas to fix. I can't really check that. Talk to Tim Fee in the mess hall. Badge mission baking. Find a cookbook. Ah, right. So we've got to go in the mess hall for that one. Go fishing at lake, the lake pier. Find the dream catcher recipe, find old shoelaces, okay, so I gotta make that recipe. Reveal the ghost true identities on Coonstagram. Take selfies with the ghosts. Well I have been, but two of them haven't gone through yet for some reason. Encounter at the bus stop, take a selfie with the ghost at the bus Oh, those are the the uh So one at the bus stop. Ah, take a selfie with the ghost at the camp set and find the mystery within the mess hall. So once I complete these, then uh, this one will be starting to go through. It's just to make it a lot easier to know. Take a selfie with the ghost of the Misty Forest. Rid the burial ground of the creatures hidden on Goonstagram. Rid the burial ground. So I need to go over there. Take a selfie with the ghost of the boathouse. Well, I haven't gone there yet. So I can go to the bus stop. That's something I can do, I guess. So I'll go down this way first. I'll stay in costume for now because I'm guessing... Rumor has it this camp was built above an abandoned mine shaft. But there's some cool stuff down there, but I didn't see this. So where's the ghost around here? Maybe I just turn the camera on at random places, see if I get into selfie mode or something. Maybe I stand at the bus stop. No. Did say at the bus stop, right? Open the map. Take a selfie with the ghost at the bus stop. Well, I'm at the bus stop, so where's the ghost? Can I talk to you? Oh, dang it. No, I can't talk to you still. I don't know where this ghost would be. Oh, wait, I can go behind here. And there's nothing here. Okay. Where's the ghost then? I don't know what I'm doing! I 
I don't know where this ghost would be. I haven't seen anything. Over here, maybe? No. I don't know. Stand here, maybe? No? I mean, you're here, dude. Are you the problem? Maybe if I go to him and try and take the butt picture, maybe he's hanging around. Or maybe I can actually interact with this lamp now. Maybe that's the clue. Oh, dang it. Nope. Or maybe I have to just keep coming in and out and reload the... Oh, there you are, you son of a bitch. I was standing here. I was standing here. It did not want to go off. What the hell? A TV? Huh? They say some VHS tapes are cursed. Never hear about a cursed DVD or Blu-ray. But now do you? Now that's because I did not read that. No, I want to Instagram that. Never hear of a curse. That's that's because digital media ain't got a soul. As opposed to digital media printed on tape. Huh? That don't make sense. Okay. Still have no clue what I'm doing. Oh god. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going through menus. I, I'm not too entirely too sure what to say at this point. I'm just being led around with so many side quests to do that I don't know where to begin. Oh yeah, we need to check uh, the character sheet. That's something that we need to do. No new titles to earn, funnily enough. There he is, all the way down here. Race, Infinity, Koku Junin. Cis male, chaotic neutral, um, religion. Ribo, Ribo Flavin. Power source, the mint and berries of Coco John, and kryptonite skimmed milk. Bradley Biggle, Gok Zara. Okay. For class, breakfast element. Indeed. So he's like a special case. Alright, so VHS tape. So I'm guessing all that will be in the bloody mess hall. I just saw something that I could interact with. Wasn't paying attention. I pretty much, I'm pretty pretty sure I saw something I could interact with. No. Nope. Must have blinked and missed. So what else do I need to do in order to tidy things up around here? Can I go in here now? Nope, it's too locked. No. I don't know what else I can actually do to tidy up around here. So... Oh! Oh, so the ghosts actually show up when I get the thing. Okay, so if I want to find ghosts, all I need to do is just whip out uh, inspect mode. Ah, flip. Yeah, they just show up. Fair enough. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can tidy up around here, I don't think, is there? Oh, the axe. No? Okay. We've got to find those missing campuses, butthole. Let's just go in and continue. <laughs> I found one of the counselors. I'm afraid he's dead. Not <laughs> really. Are you sure he's dead? Maybe he's just sleeping. Are you serious? No, he's super dead. I poked him with a stick. Come on, this is totally fake. Someone's just trying to scare it. First fake monsters, and now a fake body. If this was a real body, then this would be a real eyeball. And this would be real blood. Hmm, this is definitely real blood. You are blood? sick. You mean this is really real? Huh. We're all gonna die! We need to find the other counselors before they suffer the same fate. I'm sensing vibrations of psychic trauma in some areas of the camp. I'll send the locations to your phones. Alright, we'll cover more ground if we split up. Come on! Jimmy, you're weird. <laughs> And how did you get in here without us walking around? Sure is spooky around here. You're spooky, dude. We just passed you. I went to the bus stop and you were there behind me. I've had this shit with Sans and a certain character from Delta Rune. I don't need you doing this as well, my boy. Back off. Ouch. I'll give you a bad time. And I still can't talk to you. You are a weird one, Mr. Dude. There we are. Oh, you got the recipe for s'mores. Craft one, and you'll be earning the baking badge. And I'll get and you'll get a delicious s'more. That's what I'm on onto. Out whoops. 
fine chocolate bars and graham crackers. I have done all that already. So now I've got the recipe, I can just craft it. Toast the marshmallow at the centre of the camp. Oh, that's fair enough. That's it, butthole. You got all the makings for a small. Go to the campfire and toast that bad boy. I'm at the campfire. There we are. Toast it. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, right, I see. Oh, I see, I need to keep it in the yellow. And if I go overboard, I'm screwing it up. Now I'm going to start to set the phase all over. There we are. Oh, I've already crafted it, apparently. Talk to Fast Pass to receive your badge. Keep it up. Yay, I did another side quest that was completely point. Oh, Sash Artifact. I have a Sash Artifact. Sash of Ultimate Merit plus two. 105? Epic? Nani? The Sash of Ultimate Merit upgrades with each Merit badge you earn. I'm going to have to have a look at that. Let's have a look at... Let's play, look at the place in this. Gain plus 8 ultimate meter when your team takes 0 health damage during an attack. Oh, so we pretty much have to go for a whole turn without getting hit. Equip the sash and fight as an honorary steward of Lake Tardakaka. Gaining power of each merit badge earned. And it's obviously exclusive to this, but it can be brought over. Technically, it's actually going to give us more HP, well, more stats in general, because of more might. But the effect, gain plus 8 ultimate when the team takes 0 damage on the, during an attack, doesn't, I don't know how that would go, to be honest. Because if they have stats problems, it's going to be completely wasted. And the extra 5 might at the moment is not really necessary. But that's still pretty cool how it upgrades as we go. Restore a small amount of health, grants protection and attack up. Okay, so it's similar to uh, one of um, Membe Crunch's abilities. Feru Inafu. Right, I'm feeling like I want to end it off right now before I continue elsewhere, but at the same time, it's like... Um, wait, what was I going for again? I have to keep checking this now because I've got so many missions to keep track of. Search the shower building and the burial ground. Search what more areas to fix. Clear the mess whole ramp. Um... Yeah, but there's uh, such more areas to fix. Oh, so I just got to go to other areas. It was goes to identities, so let's have a look here. Find the mystery item in the mess hall. Find the mystery item in Nathan's cabin. And I haven't done that yet. Right, let's go back in the, me the uh, mess hall, since the mystery item's in here somewhere. Mystery item, mystery item, mystery item. It must be like similar to the doll that we have. Oh, here it is, found it. Uh, do I just keep following it? Oh, this is how we're going to play this, are we? Oh, how do I get up there? That's the problem I was having earlier. How do I get up there? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, no, I keep doing that. No, poop. I keep doing the triggers. I don't know why I'm making that mistake this often. I think I figured it out. i got to use this as a ladder, haven't I? No? Oh, wait. It said something. It said something. Or was that for this? It's probably for that. Oh, wait. Maybe if I blow it up, it will fall off. Maybe I don't need to do anything specific. No, that didn't knock it down. You... Knock it down. Knock it down. Knock it down. I don't know how I, how to get up there. Because there's nothing that allows me to get over there. I'm, I'm really confused on what I need to do in order to get up there. I mean, this is electrifying, but I can't seem to do anything with it. 
There's literally nothing here that allows me to, you know, do anything with it. So that's what's confused me right now. If I were you, I'd save the gas for that rod. Would you stop going on about roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. How do you like that? I freaking joked you one. Hang on a sec. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. No! Wrong button again! Why do I keep tapping R1 when I mean R, R, L1 and R2? Jeez, L2 and R2. Words, numbers, buttons. I want to hold the triggers, not the bumpers. What if I push this in here? Yeah, like that. There we go. I nailed it. Oh, shoot. I used to need to... Oh, feckin' hell. <laughs> That's going to be a thing for this, isn't it? Right. Get over here. Oh, wait. There's no point doing that, is there? Unless there's something I can get over here. Yeah, there's no point doing that. Okay. There we go. Now I can get up here. And that's what we needed to do. And we didn't even need to do this until just now. So this was all side quest related. And you just... Oh wait, now it's shining, so I can actually pick it up. Time for rewind. Yeah. Alright. Pick this up. And you're mine. Alright, what's next? Return to the ghost of the campsite for a real selfie. There we go. So this is how we get real selfies, and this is how we put the ghost to rest, I guess? You're here, right? Yeah, here you are. Oh! Okay, you're completely different to what I expected you to be. I completed a mission! Yay! We only did one fifth! Wow, that's gonna take a while to do. Alright, I think I'm gonna end it off on there, so we've got a lot to do. You found my favorite doll, which you definitely didn't arrange the freak accident that killed me. The doll? Killed people? Not much spooky than a spooky forest at night, well, not counting an Indian burial ground, of course. So you, yeah, so this dude is definitely creepy because he actually knows these spirits. Well, maybe before they died, but you know what I mean. So I think we're just going to stop here, and in the next episode, guys, we'll continue going through the camp. Went on a little bit longer than I thought one again, but I really wanted to figure out what I needed to do in the mess hall, and now the mess hall is just done. So we'll continue getting these badges, continue investigating, and continuing on with the actual plot. <laughs> See you guys next time.